I'm Virginia Buckingham. I was the CEO of the Massachusetts Port Authority on 9-11, the operator of Boston's Logan Airport. Two flights, American Flight 11 and United Flight 175, were hijacked from our airport that morning and flown into the World Trade Center towers. So I was diagnosed with PTSD about a year after 9-11, after I had my, my baby girl who I was pregnant with at the time. And I didn't want to know what it was. I didn't want to have it. I remember saying um, to the therapist, is it like the flu? Is it just something you can get over? Or is it something you have for the rest of your life? For me, it's been a long-term issue that I've learned to manage and manage well. And I still get occasional nightmares. I still sometimes look up at the sky and see a plane breaking apart. In my nightmares, I always try to get to the crash site because I always want to be there to help, and I never can get there. And that's a pain I will carry for the rest of my life. I'm very proud that Logan Airport focused on putting a memorial on their grounds because that's not typical of the aviation industry. It, the aviation industry kind of likes to not focus on um, the bad parts of, of their world. Like I've been honestly, I was home. You know, I would have preferred to stay here at Logan Airport and work alongside my colleagues to rebuild confidence in aviation. They've just gone through another terrible time with COVID and that has totally devastated, devastated and decimated aviation. I wanted to be here by their side. I couldn't do that. I was forced to resign from here. At the top and then Going to Pfizer, where their entire mission is to save lives and improve lives of those who are sick, also spoke to my lifelong desire to be a public servant. Obviously, it's a private sector corporation, but I'm incredibly proud of the work that they do. Incredibly proud that they brought the COVID vaccine to the world and are hoping, helping to bring an end to this pandemic.